नमस्कार मेरे YouTube चैनल ई टीचिंग गुरुकुल में आप सबका स्वागत है पाइथन के नेक्स्ट वीडियो लेक्चर 12 में मैं एक इम्पॉर्टेंट कंसेप्ट के बारे में बताना चाहता हूँ जो सभी लैंग्वेजेस में प्रेफरेबली यूज किया जाता है वो है ऑपरेटर्स सो इन ए पाइथन देयर इज एन वेरियस काइंड ऑफ ऑपरेटर्स आर देयर एज वेल एज वन इम्पॉर्टेंट ऑपरेटर दैट इज कॉल्ड मेंबरशिप which is available in python which is not available in other languages so uh, by default arithmetic uh, operators are there relational operators are there logical as well as assignment operator bit bitwise and identity and membership operators are the two different kind of operators which is available in python so now come to the point start with the operators what is the operators is there and uh, how they are working in a uh, python so uh, start with uh, types of operators already uh, um, uh, heard about that the python languages support the following types of operators first of all uh, arithmetic operation in arithmetic operations we know that plus addition subtraction division uh, sub um, uh, multiplication as well as um, uh, modulus operators are there that is also known as an percentage operators uh, next one is known as an comparisons operator means relational also known as an relationals means that in this kind of operators uh, we are just uh, checking that uh, the comparisons of the two values the values are greater than less than or equal to not equal to uh, this kind of operation will be performed in this operators assignment operators is simple operators is there so in this kind of operators the right hand side values is going to be uh, shifted on the left hand side value uh, this is then assignment operators then logical operators means and or and not operation will be performed bitwise operator it will be work on uh, Uh, bits uh, single bits operations are there how the bits is going to be operated so, so then uh, this kind of operators are used membership operators and identity operators now come to the point start with an arithmetic operators so we know that arithmetic operation will work as in first of all that is called add means um, adds the values on either side of the operators either side of uh, means that two operands means uh, this is uh, arithmetic operators basically um, uh, is a uh, binary operator means uh, this operator works with the uh, two values either side means left hand side and right hand side and between that plus operator will be there same as subtraction operator also there means it's uh, subtract the value uh, from the uh, subtract the right and uh, right value uh, from the left value so whatever the values will be there the according to that the sign will be given uh, multiplication operator or multiplication means uh, multiply the value uh, either side of the value means uh, left hand side value will be multiplied with the right hand side value of that operator division division means uh, divide the left hand operand uh, by the right hand operands modulus operators also known as in percentage operators divide left hand uh, operand by the right hand operand and the remainder will be shown to so, means that this operator will work as a uh, um, return the remainder of this two operands next one is uh, the important operator that is called exponential operator means uh, perform uh, the exponential so uh, we are using this um, operator as uh, shown in this uh, figure x double star y means that it will be shown as in it will be work as an x to the power y now come to the point some operations are there uh, you can uh, try it in your um, python editor so command prompt you can try it uh, a equals to 10 then take uh, b is equal to 10 and then a plus b and then a minus b and then a into b and then a divided by b and a percentage b so you just uh, run this code and uh, uh, whatever the result you will get you can uh, send the result in my comment or you you can put your comments on the comment box and then a to the power means a double asterisk b So now come to the point. Second, uh, um, the the next uh, slide is going to be show that uh, practice code. Some practice code are there. Write a program that asks user to either uh, enter enter their name and age, and print a message that tells the user the year in which they will turn two hundred. Means that uh, in this you are just put your value, yeah, your current age, and it will uh, show. Uh, in a message that when you are going to be hundred.
so uh, this is the code you can try it and uh, after the trying if you uh, will get the satisfied answer you can uh, put a comment on the comment box now come to the point second question is that what will be the output of the following expression just um, uh, put this uh, uh, statement on a command prompt of uh, python and then whatever the output you will get uh, you can uh, confirm me or you can tell me in my uh, command uh, comments box now the important thing is that if uh, multiple operators are there uh, just like that uh, uh, if you are using arithmetic operation but uh, multiple time uh, multiple arithmetic operations are the operators are there then how they will work then what will be the order if uh, other operators also be there other category of operator also be there in a single statement then how the order will be performed so when more than one operator appears in an expression the order of the evaluation depends on the rules of precedence precedence rules means that for mathematical operator python follows mathematical convention uh, the acronyms uh, pem uh, pem uh, pemds pemdas uh, is a useful way to reminder the rules the what is the meaning of pemdas so you can see that p means that parentheses have the highest precedence uh, same as bodmas rules you can you remember that bodmas same as pemdas is the uh, same rule with the parenthesis then exponential has the next highest precedence and then multiplication and then division have the same precedence if uh, they appear in the same statement so then uh, both this statement uh, both this type of operator will be treated as an same preference same precedence and which is higher than addition and subtraction and means that uh, multiplication and division is then higher precedence than the addition and subtraction mm, and operator with the same precedence have evaluated from the left and right so means that if the two plus operator or one plus and one multiplication operators is there then that will be uh, much more higher precedence. means uh, multiplication is higher precedence than the uh, um, uh, for example uh, let the example is that plus operator is there and then a subtraction operator uh, is there so means that addition and subtraction have the same precedence same category operator so in that case uh, the Mm, evaluation of this operator will be treated as from left to right so left to right evaluation will be there uh, for the same category of operator comparisons operators means that comparisons is there uh, there is in six types of comparisons operator the first one uh, first of all uh, uh, first one is uh, equal double equal to if the two values are operands are equal then the condition become true means this uh, relational operators or you can say that comparison operator either it will return a true value or it will return a false value uh, so means that in the first case uh, the equal to operator return the true value if both the side of the value will is equal then it will return true value otherwise it will return false false value and second operator is there not equal to means that if the both the sides values are not equal means not same uh, then the value will return as true value otherwise it will return a false value it means that if both the side value are same uh, or equal then it will return a false value greater than value means that left hand side is compared with the right hand side values means that in this case uh, the left hand value if the left hand value uh, uh, yeah, or left hand operator uh, operand is greater than the value of the right hand operand uh, then the condition become true otherwise it will return a false in that case if the left hand operand I mean left operand is uh, left hand operand value is less than the right operand value it will return true otherwise it will return false means that if the left operand value is higher than the right operand value then it will return a false value greater than equals to means that it will consider also the equal to value equal value means it will work on a two uh, phase one is called if the value is greater than the left hand side value is greater than the right hand side value then it will return true and as well as if the left hand side value is right uh, equal to the right hand value it is also uh, give a true value so means that it will just work as an equal to double equal to sign and greater than sign same as less than equals to so uh, it will contain two uh, relational operator in the same condition uh, that is called less than or equal to so uh, then you can try this uh, value uh, whatever you can see in the left hand side so you can just try it and tell me the answer 
whenever you are going to be try then the answer will be either true or it will be false so you can identify that how it will work now come to the point uh, next one is called assignment operator assignment operator means that assign the value and the value will be shifted from right hand side to the left hand side so assign values from right side operands to the left hand side operands means assign values of it so means that whenever um, if I'm, i am going to um, uh, tell this expressions what is this expression actually says that then uh, we can say that a and b is going to be added from right hand side and this right hand side value after addition the value will be going to shift it uh, going to shift on the left hand side uh, which is called a c value so assign the value of a plus b whatever the result will be uh, generated in uh, a plus b uh, is going to be shifted on c the next one is called uh, plus equal to assignment it is in short form of the uh, operations you can see that here is an operation c is equal to c plus a means that uh, in that case uh, left hand c and right hand c you can see that this is a common c that means that the variable is common so in that kind of expression you can write this expression in a short form by using this plus and equal to operator so this is the uh, very expressive operators is there so you you can write the expression in a short form uh, so but the condition is that when the um, variable is common otherwise it will not work means that in that case if you are going to take this value uh, or this expression and we are going to apply this operator on that expression it will not work it will work only this kind of expression same as uh, minus equal to sign means that you can check that so this uh, value is going to be work uh, according to this so you can write this value or write this expression in a shorter form like this and next one is called into uh, so it multiplies right hand operands with the left hand operands and assign the result to the left hand operands means that it will work same as when the two variables are common or you can say the same then uh, this operator will be work for the uh, into and equal to same as division operators also there now you can check that other uh, two operands are there division equal to operator same as you can write this expression in the form of this expression <coughs> same as uh, percentage equal to operator it will work same as whenever this or type kind of expression is there you can write the expression uh, like this expressive form and now come to the point try this commands and uh, uh, whatever the result you will get tell me the answer uh, in the comments box and now come to the point next important operator that is called logical operator in the logical operator the first operator is known as an and operator so this uh, again taken two operands left hand operands and right hand operands and in between uh, instead of operator there is an and or an not operator so in that case when the left hand side and the right hand side is true then only this and operator will uh, return it true otherwise either it will return a uh, false means simple is that uh, true if the both operands are true otherwise it will return a false means that if x is true y is true then a uh, whole operation is going to be true second things if x is false y is true then it will return a false next one if x is true y is false then the value will be written as a false and if x is false and y is false then again it will return a false means that in one condition when x and y is going to be true then the, um, the expression uh, result will be true the next operation is called or operation so in that case only when the both the operands are false then it will return false either uh, in either case in the three case it will return a true value not is just like then uh, opposite directions uh, if operand is false complement of the means a not means that in a one kind of complement of the value if x is true and if we uh, if i apply not then not x will return a um, false same as other things is there so try this code you can try this code and you can print the value 
and whatever the result you will get if you are satisfied then uh, put a comments on the comments box now the importance the two level of operations are there that is called membership operations then how this operations means operands will be performed in, in python by because this operands are um, available in python only and not available in other languages uh, just like in a well-known languages c c plus plus java this type of operations is not there so any and all are two built in provided in python used for successive and and or means whatever the logical operators are there so in that logical operator one advanced operation is pro provided in a python languages which is known as an any and all and it will work in a different way in any uh, it will return true if any of the item is true just like an and or or we can say that so any will be work as an or means uh, it will work for multiple uh, true and false value because or is uh, or and and will work only for the two values that is called first operand and second operand left hand side operand and right hand side operand so it will work on a two value and return the value but in case of whenever the multiple uh, true and false will be there and how the multiple true and false will be uh, compared at a time then any will be there so python will provide this kind of operation so in case of on any you can say that uh, successive form of so uh, any is a successive form of or operations so it will return true if either means any of the value is true it will return false otherwise it will return a false uh, when all the values are false in case of all in case of all means that if all the values are false to so return true if all the items are true otherwise it will return an empty means iterable means uh, it will return a false means if all the values are true means it will work as in same as and operation when on both the operands are true then it will return a true values otherwise it will return a false value same as when the multiple operands values are true means all the operands values are true then it will return a true value otherwise if any of the operands means multiple more than two operands values are false any one of the values are false then it will return a false so means you can say that any is the synonyms forms and in advanced synonyms forms of the and uh, or operators and all will advance of the and operator means all will work for multiple more than two operands value true and false value and any will work for more than true again but just like an or so try this code you can also identify just um, print first one just print second one whatever the result you will get it will return so means we can say that any means any of the uh, value will be true then it will return true you can say that uh, this in this case it will return a false value because all the values are false if any one is true then you can say that true now come to the point second if one of the values is true then it will return a true value it will return a false value in the first case and the next any again you can say that one of the value is true then it will return a true value i am going to see here i am going to mention the true value as a right and the false value as a cross now come to the one all i have already told about that all will be work just like an and operation mean but it will work for in more than two uh, logical values so you can see that all the values are true so it will return a true value means same as or and operation in the second case all the values will be true if all the values are, or if all the values will be true then it will return a true but you can say that two values are false so it will return a false means any of the values of all is false then it will return a false value same as all and all the values are false so it will return a false value so you can check it i have checked the value you can also check it it will return a answer so you can say that uh, see that all means uh, whatever the values is there all values are true then true values is there all any any means any of the values is true it will return a true any of the values is true it will return a true and any of the values is not means all the values are false then it will return a false you can see that any of the values is false then it will return a false you can return check so you can check 
and uh, whatever the result you will uh, you will get and if you satisfied uh, the answer uh, with this uh, code and also if you are satisfied with the video uh, whatever I have uh, um, uh, whatever I have explained in this video if you learn uh, something from this video then please like this video share this video and uh, don't forget to comment on this video and um, uh, maximum to maximum share this video to the maximum needy students so once again um, इस वीडियो को लास्ट तक देखने के लिए आप सबको धन्यवाद